All right, now tonight we're gonna do some cowboy cooking, cast iron cooking. People really like that. And a lot of people say, well, how do you recondition? You know, all right, here's what happens. Look at that little bit of rust. Did you leave that sitting out there? I, I think you did. I think, I think did. Kelly I think did, did it. Did. Kelly, Kelly did, did it. it. Chappie Chaplin did it. did it. You know what? I think I probably did that actually. There's a very simple way to do this. Now, okay. a lot of people use a lot of different things. They use vinegar, they use potatoes. If you have a method that works for you, that's fine. But this is directly from the lodge people. Okay. They say this is the way to do it. I have tried it. It works for me very well. You're going to need a little scrubbing pad. I use these little stainless steel. The first thing you do is just scrub. You see how that's getting that off yeah. of there? Scrub the whole thing. See how that's getting yeah. that into the first layer there? Get rid of all that rust. Now, there's all these different ideas about, oh, you can do this and you can't do that. You can use soap, you can't use soap. Guess what? Lodge says it's okay to use soap. So, the next thing you're gonna do is wash it. Now, with that, you can pour a little bit of water in there and I'm gonna put a little bit of soap. Just a little bit of soap. Then you can come back and even use this again. You can use a scrub brush. Use whatever you want. You can use soap. Now you wanna rinse that out really, really, really good so you don't have any soapy taste in there. So we're gonna keep on washing that till it get down, get rid of that rust. All right, now, obviously we're gonna rinse this. Now, if you're inside, obviously you got running water. But you know what? We're up here in the 1800s. That's we ain't right, got no water. that's right. The harvest cabin. That looks better. It looks better. Mm -hmm. But there's still a couple steps. Okay. Now, we're doing the quick thing here. Normally, I would, I would rub that a lot better. After we dry it, we're going to take just a little bit of vegetable oil. Rub that around. I'm going to take another paper towel and just evenly coat that. That's it. After we've rinsed it well. Well, not quite. Nope. There's another step. After we do this on the inside and on the out, we get a nice coat all over. Guess what we're going to do? What? We're going to pop that in the oven. Okay. Upside down. Okay. Okay. I'm going to put some aluminum foil underneath it. For drip. 350 degrees for one hour. That reseasons that. Now, after it cooks in the oven, you open the door, turn the oven off, let it cool for about an hour. Take it out, set it out. Guess what? You have a reconditioned piece of cast iron ready to go. 